Reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 8, verses 1 to 8. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs he was doing, for unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. All of us, do plan our future. Therefore, we have savings, we have investments, we do plan the future of our children, the future of my career, we do plan. Because we need a security, we need a security, we need a guarantee that my future is safe. My future is safe. Mind you, if we come to know my last day, if I have a vision of my last days, what would happen? Then all my plans, all my savings, what I have planned, my career, everything will be changed because I have a vision of my last days. But I would say, fortunately, we don't have a vision of my last days. I don't know how would, by, how would be my last days. It is only known to God because He says in the Word that I have planned your future. When you were in your mother's womb, I have planned your life. Therefore, my dear friends, today Jesus says, I will raise you up in the last day. I will raise you up on the last day. And this is the same aim or the same inspiration that our early Christian community had. And today we hear in the first reading how these early Christians were persecuted. They were persecuted. They were dragged and they were put in the jail. But amidst of this persecution scenario, still, St. Philip, he went on preaching, knowing that if I preach, the bad result would follow me. 
I will be persecuted. I will be raised to death. But still for all, he gave himself up, my dear friends, knowing that I will be raised on the last day. I will be raised on the last day. This is the same feeling that the first Christian community had. They gave themselves up in order to be raised by whom? By the Heavenly Father. The worldly connotation that we have, in order to be raised worldly, we need to acquire things. We need to get the things. We need to save the things in order to be raised in worldly manner, my dear friends. But heavenly manner is difference. That is why Jesus, today he expresses himself saying, I have come from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of one who sent me. That is the heavenly father. Jesus being the Son of God, He came into this world not to do His will, not to do His things, but the things that commanded by the Heavenly Father. Because of that, Jesus knew, when I do the will of the Father, I will be raised by Him alone. I will be resurrected by Him alone. This is the inspiration as Catholics we need to have, my dear friends we will be raised on the last day. We don't know what that day would be, but if that day would be tomorrow, am I ready to be raised up by the Heavenly Father? Therefore, let us try to seek the will of the Father and to be raised on the last day by Him alone, by His grace alone.